Hello everyone. Today's video. Do you use an auto feeder or not? For most of our clients and users, the first time that I that they actually see our machine, the first comment is, "Yes, this would be nice if we can automate this." Personally, we don't like it. We'll give the reasons later on in the video. But we've listened to your guys, and this is a prototype that we developed. So just to show, and we also explain to all the people, when you purchase our unit, you can use any variable auto feeder. If they are green, if they are black, some are yellow, blue, they all work on our machine. So you don't have to buy a dedicated unit like this. This is something that we tailor made for ourselves. You can add on any variable speed. The blue ones, they especially work well, but so does the others. So depending on what you already have on hand, or if you want to purchase a, such an upgrade for the future. I've basically for today's video, I've already set up the machine for the annealing time. And I've picked three cartridges that's mostly used on the F-Class scene as well as National Rifle League and PRS. So from the right, there's the 308 Winchester. This is a Creedmoor 6.5 and a 243. So it's basically your 6mm 6.5 and the 308. That covers most of the National Rifle League, PRS and also the F-Class people. Also, the other reason why I've selected this, they are basically the same diameter, all these cases, so the kneel times are the same. We are going to do a test now to see just how long in an auto feeder do they take. I've selected 20 cases of the three brands, we're all going to pop them in here and see how long it will take to anneal them in an auto case feeder. A lot of the people are saying, when I use my auto case feeder, yes, um, I'm going to use that time to do something else. No, as believe me, we all have a, a bit of OCD when you are reloading and especially precise reloading. You're going to watch the machine. So that five or eight minutes that the machine can work on its own, you are going to watch. You are going to make sure everything is running smoothly and therefore you're not going to save the time. You can manual feed. Manual feed is faster, but we'll show you on the video. So let's get going. I'm going to start the stopwatch. Now the machine. There's a double feed. And as you all can see, it's, we're already on 54 seconds. Almost one minute.
guys this is very very tedious um, it's not making your hands loose it's not allowing you to have a look and do something else you need to babysit these auto feeders it doesn't matter which brand I think we are done now uh, oh, sorry still one left but I think you guys get get the idea yeah these things um, is not I've stopped the stopwatch when four and a half minutes there was some issues feeding issues and this will happen in most of the commercial case throwers auto case feeders as well these things is a bit finicky and that's the reason why we don't equip our machine and why we haven't designed our machine in the first place to run with this but there's a lot of people who force the issue and we've actually speak to a lot of our old clients and as soon as you use the our machine you'll see the manual it's much more faster you have a lot more control with this whole automatic type of of an uh, addition or extra you have no control over and I think for a lot of people it, it will be just uh, help you and it will frustrate you even more you can do a lot more maybe for the AR guys there will be some value in it but um, I think for the precision guy and the long range this is not not worth your while take the money go and buy and buy yourself some bras some bullets it's it's the right thing I think to do I just want to see if these things are cooled off they are so I'm just quickly going to repeat the the manual test one good thing is at least this thing can quickly snap off that's not a waste I'm just gonna get quickly our stopwatch out so we're in four and a half minutes on on 20 rounds with the auto feeder gonna reset it I don't think it will zoom it's on zero but I'm gonna hit start and here we go same caliber same 20 cases only manual feed We had 30 seconds, uh, four cases. We're at one minute twenty. One minute forty. Three cases to go, one minute fifty three. Last case, two minutes sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, two minutes and eighteen. Just stop here. So there you have it manually with a nil 20 cases
2 minutes and 19 point let's make it 2 minutes and 20 seconds to done the same on an auto case feeder we're very close to 5 minutes so it's double the time you need to attend and watch the auto case feeder and even what's happening here if you don't have a a kneel tray like we have that's rolling the cases out of the way you can get some stoppages even here and you need to stop your machine and reset it and start it again so what's the verdict when we speak to our old clients they're all like look here this is the only time that i bond with my family or my my daughter my wife or, or even my my son they're still young but we spend time reloading and if i automate this pro process i'm going to lose that because i set up the machine and they run the kneel for me it's time that we spend together that we load together that i teach them and i don't want to lose that pay money for automation and i lose that i want to transfer my knowledge so for a lot of the people it's it's more of a family thing they don't want they don't want automation they like to keep it in the family it's something they can do together on, on the reloading part because that can be boring for a lot of people especially children so for this they they hook them in and, and they get them involved again then as we just displayed the time it, it just takes on a, on a auto annealer versus a manual um, it's it's not worth it if if you think you're gonna save time you're not going to save time we've just proved it to you and you can use any variable you will still have the same result as you can see the machine as soon as it there is a, a pause between annealing and getting ready for in for, for the next one um, you're not going to win any time and this is a precise instrument so at the end of the day we like to use it as it is that's why it's designed like this we like it in in this conf on in this configuration for us or auto feeder it's maybe a, another solution to a problem that does not exist once you use it manually you will see there's no need for an auto feeder but as we just indicated to you that our machines you can use any aftermarket auto case feeder it will work with it it can work with it but it's if it's really worth that money uh, i don't think so thank you for watching see you in the next one bye